Even as you sit at home this morning, perhaps in a traditionally urban or suburban neighborhood, there are people dreaming up a different way of American living. Their vision in the not so distant future is of traffic free cities full of green space where the only cars are the self-driving fleet carrying us from place to place. We're not there yet, of course, but there is at least one town outside Atlanta whose designers and residents are giving us a peek into the communities of the future. Dylan paid a visit for our Sunday Spotlight. Impossibly pristine pastures, obscenely scenic neighborhoods, friendly folks that smile and wave. It may sound like the Truman Show. Morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. But it's real. Welcome to Serenby, a planned community with modern homes nestled into perennial forests. Everything is carefully designed to reconnect its 700 residents with nature and each other. Founder Steve Nigren and his daughter Garney are surprised by the impression that it's too good to be true. I didn't really know what to expect. And if I'm being honest, I'm like, okay, is this some sort of la-la land? I mean, what, what is this place? What amazes me is many people have the same reaction. Is this real? How could you do this? And how sad it is that this has become unusual. Serenby, with its 300 homes and 30 businesses, is an experiment in new urbanism, a new model for development, blending conservation with urban convenience. Where did this whole idea come from? This is a reaction to urban sprawl, actually. This utopia sits on the outskirts of sprawling Atlanta. Garney and I were on a run uh, one morning in early 2000. And as we came over the small hill, there was a bulldozer clearing the forest next to us. And he said, we've just been hired to clear the trees. I guess they're putting houses here. That's what always happens. So Steve set out on a mission. This you is the bulldozer moment. Your life changing right here if you didn't do something about it. Exactly. This field is part of our 700 acres of permanently protected green space. When my grandchildren are living here 100 years from now, mm -hmm. this will always be here. Wow. A mission to stave off development became an ambitious effort to develop differently. There was no perception that we would be doing something in the woods that would become a model for how we can disrupt the way we build places today. By replacing private yards with shared forest and clustering homes closer together, Serenby's model disturbs more than 60% less land than conventional development, while providing 25% more homes. I haven't seen a single car. I haven't been on blacktop. Yeah. I've been hearing the sounds of nature and all of a sudden we're up against some homes. Serenby's winding paths reveal its unique design. Now we're and back in civilization. Yeah, civilization and headed to get a cup of coffee at the Blue Eye Daisy. Mm -hmm. Often we think we have to choose living in the middle of the country or living in the middle of the mm -hmm. city. And so important to us that you can, you can have a little bit of both. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Cappuccinos and yoga classes are a stone's throw from hay rides and a 25-acre farm. We all need to be closer to where we're growing the food and the farmers growing it. Eggplant and kale. Awesome. The landscape is appetizing. So 70% of what we've planted in grains mm -hmm. is edible. Arcanita? Yeah. And the scenery, transportive. I feel like I'm in like a German courtyard of some kind. <laughs> but in the end, the purpose is the people. I've described before to friends that in our former life, we were more human doings, where it was do, 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 go, 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 in the car. Here, we are human <laughs> beings. Just walking in the woods and getting lost in the woods that I haven't done since I was a little girl. We didn't know what, what we were missing because there was, wasn't anything like this. The Nigrans hope there will be more places like this, that Serenby will inspire others. Our hope is that the way that we're living in Serenby is the way everybody can live everywhere, and it just takes a little bit of thought and intention. Many mornings I walk out our front door and I look at this village in the woods and I think, I was crazy. How could I have ever possibly imagined that we could pull this off? And here we are. So when are you moving down? Oh, I'm obsessed with this place. <laughs> so there isn't another Serenby planned, but they're hoping that now that they've proven this is a viable model, 
they can teach other people how to build like this outside of major cities. Scale it up a little bit. That is really cool. I loved it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.